Many of us think that the term Islamophobia signifies the Muslim struggle against fairly recent stereotypes. Stereotypes that often result from violent acts in the name of Islam in recent years. Well, the truth is that the term was coined in 1904 by a Swedish man called Ivan Agueli. John Gustav Ejeli, or as known by his artist name, Ivan Igueli, was born on May 24, 1869, in the Swedish town of Sala. His school years in Sweden are said to have been without significant success. In fact, he had to move between schools because of his poor performance. But the experience did help him discover his passion about geography, botany, and fiction. Then, in 1889, he was finally able to attend one of his greater talents, painting. Ivan's father didn't approve of him choosing this field, but he traveled to Paris nevertheless and became a student of the symbolist painter Emile Bernard. Later, he continued to pursue art as a student of Anders Zorn and Richard Berg in Stockholm. You may have seen some of his more famous paintings printed on Swedish stamps. In addition to painting, another pursuit in Sweden changed the course of Agueli's life, a pursuit that started with the simple act of borrowing the Muslim holy book, Quran, from the National Library of Stockholm. From then on, his lifelong journey in Islamic knowledge began. He studied Eastern philosophy in Sweden, then moved to Paris, where he studied Oriental languages. He even continued to educate himself in Paris's central prison. He had been arrested in raids against anarchists, and he made use of his four-month detention to study the history of religion and philosophy and language studies. Ivan was fascinated by works of Ibn Arabi. When he was released from prison, he traveled by boat to Egypt's Alexandria. There, he continued his languages studies and wrote art criticism for the Illustrated Contemporary Encyclopedia. There, he published 10 of his letters on the influence of Islam on people outside Egypt. There, he continued his esoteric studies and engaged in spiritual exercises. He had converted to Islam in Paris and was ready to take his belief to the next stage. His name was now Abdul Hadi, which loosely translates to the Servant of the Guider. He also collaborated with the linguist, anarchist, and medical doctor Enrico Insabedo in producing the Italian Arabic publication Il Convito, which in part introduced Islam to Italians. Throughout, he continued to travel, paint, and write. In his paintings, he blended colors to create a sense of depth and distance, creating a unique style of post-impressionism, becoming one of the founders of the Swedish contemporary art movement. And in his writings, he used his knowledge of the Quran, metaphysics, and mysticism to shed light on Islam in the face of Islamophobia and invite people to liberation from materialism. His life ended in 1917 in a train accident, but his works continue to influence people till this very day.